Okay, I'm going to show you what I did on the first coat that I put here. I use a hock and trowel instead of a pan and knife, but I use a pan and knife also for touch up work and, and stuff like that. But I'm going to show you why I use a hock and trowel. First off, a trowel is, is a lot stiffer than a, uh, a knife, but I do the butt joints first and then I do the flats. And typically, if you do the butt joints first, about 10, 15, 20 minutes expires doing these butt joints before you come back and do this. And, and that's just enough time to dry it up. But I'm going to run both of these at the same time right now just to show you my technique. Uh, there again, this has already got a double coat of mud on it. I'm going to put the third coat on. I come across here like this. And I come down, now this, this would be the third and final coat, so I might want to spread this joint out about three trowels of width, like that, and I'll come across here and do a final run, kind of like that, on the center. And then on the outside, I'm feathering it, and I'm leaving a little line right across there. And then this side, I feather it. Then I'll come down the center again for a final time, which I'll... The reason I use this is this, this baby's flat, which makes it nice. Then I'll come one more time and gently feather it. This time again, I gently feather it. And now there's just a couple little lines that go down there, which I'm not worried about. And then I come across and do this one, same way. I come up like this, and then I'll split this three trials wide so that this butt joint will never really uh, see the hump in it or anything when it's all done. There again, I'm Feathering the outside, feathering the outside, down the center again, one final feather, one final feather, that's perfect. Now I'm going to put some more mud on my hawk here, and I'm going to show you I'm in a hurry to do this just because I'm videotaping, but I'm going to show you that you can do it. I'm going to do this final run here and uh, show you how that's done. Come across here, and I just go like this. I'm going to run this single trial with, and I'm just, I want to go the full distance. Another reason I like a hawk and trowel instead of a pan and knife, it's a lot cleaner. I come across here, when I get to that wet joint, I just kind of go up. And then because this is a hawk, I like, I like to keep my trowel a little wet. And then I come up here like that. I'm doing my feathering right there. I'm feathering this side. Final feather like this. I have a little bit of a mark right there. I have a little bit of a mark right there. But I'm going to leave it because if I continue to go over this, I'll just make it worse. And it's not really bad right now. And what I'll do is after this sets up for about an hour, I'll come by with a five inch knife at an, at an angle and, and tear that edge off before I do the final touch up. But actually, that's, that's a third coat. That's a final product. And as far as sanding goes, I really don't uh, do sanding. Um, very little sanding, but that's only because I'm fairly proficient with my tools. Again, that's how I do everything in here. I use a, uh, a hawk and trowel for everything. I go like this, 
and I can see there's a hump there because that's a butt joint. So I want to fill this side, I want to fill that side, and very little in the center. Again, so I'll come in here, and I'll just kind of load it on. And as I said before, the reason I like the hawk and trowel over a pan and knife for this kind of work is because it's, um, uh, well, it's not my opinion, it's fact. It's, it's, it's neater. It's cleaner and it's faster. Okay, I come across here, feather that upper edge, come down here, feather the bottom edge, come right down through the center, and then I come in here and I'll feather it out like that. And I'll come in here and feather that into that. Take a final run down through the center. I see I, I got an edge there and I really don't like that edge. So I'll do one more feather like that. Now my little edge is very, very small. I'm not going to worry about it. That joint's done. Anyways, that's it. Okay, I'm going to show you how I use a 12-inch uh, pan and knife for running a, a butt joint. I just showed you how I use the hawk and trowel. Now I'll show you a, a pan and knife. Now there again, I'm checking it. And the height, you know, it's high, but that's normal. That's, that's always the way it is. Anyways, I come in here with a 12-inch knife. I like to peel it off the edges so it doesn't wobble all over the place, but the concept is essentially the same. Uh, I'm going to run this just as wide as the other one. And my mud is starting to set up a little bit because like I said, it's 90 minute mud and it's probably 20 minutes or 30 minutes old. So it's starting to set up. And uh, you can tell I'm just really loading it on here. And then I'll take a swipe. Usually I'm standing up. Uh, anyways, I take a swipe down through the center like that. Then I'll feather the outside edge. Come across here, feather this outside edge. I might just go down through the center one last time to get a quick look. Uh, and then this final feather here, I'm laying the knife really flat on the wall. Notice how I'm holding my knife like this for this side. There again, I'm just kind of laying it flat. Now that has got some edges there, about the same as a hawk and trowel, but uh, I like a hawk and trowel because it's faster. But on little stuff, actually a pan and knife is, is real handy to have. When I'm running flats, uh, I'll just run this section here just to show you that uh, I put that one over there like that and I'll run it a single 12 inch uh, knife width come in there feather this edge here come across the uh, flattening out feather it I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on my knife now I've got this as a wet joint so I'll come across here like this Come across like that, feather it in there like that, come across like this. I got a little bit of a mess up there. I can come right here, like that, come across here, just like that. I got those right there, come across like that, and I just almost can't see any marks there. Um, now, uh, th that's the final coat. This baby's done. So I can come across with my knife afterwards in about an hour and scrape the little edges off that need it uh, and then touch it up with a five inch knife. Um, a lot of people sand. I haven't even sanded yet. This is a final coat. I really don't intend to sand. I, I just, I, I pay attention to the edges there. And uh, I've just found that there's no need to sand if you do real smooth work like that.